Welcome back, friends, for some more paranormal activity, The Lost Soul, on Oculus Rift via Steam VR. And while I am playing this on Oculus Rift today, this is a cross-platform game that can be played on all major VR platforms. All right, so the last time we were in here was the first time we were in here. We just jumped in, looked around the house, found a few items that we are collecting to fill out this page. This page, we found the candle, we found a cleaver, and we found a picture. We're still looking for a doll and a jar, and who knows what kind of craziness is going to ensue when we find this stuff. But uh, so far as I can tell, that's the object. We need to find this stuff and we'll go from there. So, uh, the last video, I was basically just recovering ground that I had already been through before because it was the second take on the video. I tried uh, a couple weeks ago to shoot the video and uh, it didn't work out, so we redid it. But now, from this point forward, it's all virgin to me. It's new territory. I have no idea where I'm going, what I'm doing, or what's going to happen. So, only genuine reaction from this point forward and complete surprise. So, cool. The game I thought started kind of slow last time. A lot of cliche scares, music boxes, grandfather clocks, knocks on the wall, rattling doors, breaking glass. Pretty standard stuff, but toward the end, we zapped into another dimension and it went from zero to a hundred in 3.2 seconds and I loved it it was awesome I want more of that hopefully I'll get more of that so let's uh let's take a look around here I don't know where I'm supposed to go now we just came back through this door which is now locked but I do have two keys so it looks like we're gonna have to backtrack our way through the house to places we've been before already but I do have two keys so maybe we'll be able to get into a couple of those doors that we were unable to open before. So let's find out. I'm sure we have all sorts of evil in store. We just have to find it. Alright, so there's a page on the ground here. I did not notice this last time. Maybe this is something new. Oh, I can't reach it. Looks like my floor settings are a bit off. I had this trouble yesterday too. Or maybe I just can't pick it up. Maybe that's the... That looks like something I should be able to pick up. Yep, I got it. That was harder than it should have been. But... It all worked out in the end. In the rear end. Alright, so it looks like more items. Hairbrush. Ha! We found the hairbrush. So this is obviously another page for our book. More items that we have to find. Some of this stuff I recognize. Like the gift. That was, uh, the gift box was on the, uh, if you remember at the last, the end of the last video. I had to choose a path. Left hand path, right hand path. I chose left. I got the meat cleaver. Had I gone right, there was a gift box over there that looked just like that. So, we know where to get that if we can ever get back there. We've already got the brush. It looked like a dog brush. We found it in a box in the living room downstairs. But this is actually a, a big relief to me because, you know, as far as I've known, we had collected three out of the five artifacts that we're looking for and I was beginning to get afraid that uh, I was beginning to be afraid that maybe this game wasn't going to be so long I mean we're moving through it rather quickly even at my slow snail's pace but now we have a whole other page of stuff to find Here's something I didn't notice before either. 
I have a patch on the back of my hand. I didn't, maybe it was there before, but I never noticed it there before. So that's strange. I wonder what's going to, what the meaning of that is. As I now, as I remember it, wasn't this like a horse? Maybe I'm mistaken, but I thought that picture was of something different. I don't know. Again, this is my uh, this is all new territory for me now. No idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. Looks like we have a bloody handprint. Looks like somebody braced themselves on the wall with their bloody hand and something pulled the person down the hall. And I assume that I, oh. I heard a door open. That is progress, friends. Oh, look. Let's see here. From Bill Thomas, sent Sunday, 9.14 a.m. to Marcus. The subject line reads, so sorry. So it says this. It says, hey, man, I'm so sorry we didn't make it to your barbecue. This is the first one I've missed in eight years. I really wanted to hang out, but unfortunately, some things are going on here at home. I'll fill you in later. I look forward to next year's barbecue. Sorry again, Bill. So these guys have a yearly barbecue. Got to barbecue more than that, people. Come on. All right, for Marcus, here's Marcus's reply to Mr. Thomas. Subject line, don't forget. Okay, so Bill's... Bill's uh, email was the reply. Marcus's was the original letter. It says, see you Saturday. I got my brand new barbecue. It's huge. Get ready for some food. Coma. LOL. All right. Well, we have uh, another name entered into our hypothetical narrative. Marcus. We haven't heard of Marcus yet. So it's a new one. So, Bill Thomas has a friend named Marcus. He had to miss the barbecue on Saturday because of things going on here at home. His wife, what was her name, Elizabeth? It was Elizabeth. More of this rattling door stuff. Looks like we have a trash can full of stuff I cannot interact with nanny cams in every room these people have security going on man four days back in the day they called these cassette tapes you use them with the tape recorder I gave you record every day and enjoy dad dad always gets the coolest gifts doesn't he all right so apparently there are some cassette tapes around here somewhere and a recorder. Certificate of birth, Catherine Thomas. It wasn't Elizabeth, it, oh, well, Catherine, okay. Catherine is the, uh, the daughter. So William Thomas, the father, Elizabeth Thomas, the mother, Catherine, the daughter seven pounds five ounces sixth of June cool. oh that appears to be one of our items let's see which one oh it's the footprint in the middle two more items to go and we have this pentagram finished I bet we'll be in for a rocking good time then, huh? I like these people's taste in art, but I don't like the fact that they seem to have bought 10 of everything. It's 
pictures. Okay. Alright, I lost my flashlight. I wonder if my lighter will work. The lighter. <laughs> Okay, so that was the little girl, but she appeared before my eyes and disappeared. So I'm starting to think maybe this little girl is not a little girl after all. So if it's a, a spirit, why does she need to travel through the vent? Maybe she doesn't know she's a spirit. Or maybe it's just a glitch. Maybe this game has a little jank going on. And the girl is alive. I don't know. But I know I will get to the bottom of it. Or the top. Or one of the sides. Whichever one has the answers. Change this one. Interact with it in any way. No. Alright. We found our cassette player. Let's read the accompanying letter first. Alright. Alright, it looks like we have some maybe uh, Latin. verses here. I'm not going to chant that stuff. But uh, it says play the tape for fire. So does that mean play the tape for the fire? Like as a tribute to the fire? Like, here almighty fire is your tape that you love? It's probably like white snake or something. Here we go again on my own Going down the only road I've ever known Oh, wait a minute. That was one of our items. I thought it was one of our items. Or did it just go into the book? It just went into the book. Okay, play the tape for fire, it says. So, either that means we can play the tape to make a fire. Or we need to go downstairs and play the tape for the fire. I tell you, I don't know whose spirit this is that's in this house with me, but they are so polite when they want to be. They just continuously open doors for me. Okay, that's enough of that nonsense. Woo! That just creeps me out just listening to it. When people start getting these evil voices and chanting these uh, Latin words, I don't know, there's just something about it. It makes me feel a little bit nervous. So I played the tape and there were no fire started, so I guess we need to go play the tape for the fire. Our master, the almighty fire. That didn't sound like White Snake though. Maybe it was uh, Prodigy. I'm the fire starter. Twisted fire stop. Hear water running somewhere. Maybe it's outside, maybe it's raining. Okay, so I'm trying to see what they want me to look at here. Maybe I just missed it, but I didn't really catch anything there. 
So there's candles over here. Maybe these candles were trying to lure me here because this is where I found that brush. And they're trying to drop clues for me. Alright, so I guess we should start with the obvious stuff first, right? Go to the fireplace and play the tape. There we go. Can I get in there even though? That's the question. I cannot. We can try to play the tape anyway. Check it out, it's a Wang Max Elite Pro. <laughs> oh, that's enough. That Wang Max, they make great products, man. Apparently. Where did that lady's uh, obituary go? Gone. Alright, I guess while we're here, we'll. Uh, Try to get in this door again with the other key that we found. No? Aha! Success, people! What do we have here? Is this grandma's? I think we found grandma's room. Either that or the, is that grandma or is that Bill? My goodness, this is grandma, and she has been here for a while. She looks almost as bad as uh, Willem Dafoe. Check out the picture. Is that grandma? Looks kind of like um, Ozzy on the cover of that first Black Sabbath album. Oh, they have a new picture. Nothing there. Yes, I know. I didn't I didn't miss the fact that she was holding the crucifix that we need. I just want to search the room really well before I I just want to search the room really well before I take things from the bloody corpse. Because there's always the possibility that shit's going to kick off whenever I disturb the body of grandma over there. Alright, I think we have exhausted. No, we have not. What do we have here? Syphilis kills. <laughs> well, note to self. Beware of syphilis. Your enemy may be closer than you think. <laughs> Learn more. Stay safe. So who knew that at one point in time they had uh, anti-syphilis propaganda that they spread to the people. Four stages of syphilis. Primary, painless ulcer or whatever of the cervix, cervix, tongue, and lips. Secondary, chronic stage, skin, rash, and brown sores three to six weeks after initial ulcer. Mild fever, fatigue, headache, sore throat, hair loss, swollen lip nodes occurs over the next one to two years. Latent. If it's light, no, so it can be light and you can have it and not know it. Syphilis, the silent killer. Uh, tertiary, final stage, spreads to the heart, eyes, nervous system, bones, and joints. Eventual mental illness and then death. Therapy, penicillin, 
tetracycline, doxycycline. All right, so we found the penicillin bottle earlier, if you'll remember, in the bathroom. I see a couple of bottles in the floor over here. Grandma died from syphilis. I wonder where Grandma got syphilis from. That is a strange thing. Maybe it was dormant for years. Looks like she had to have a transfusion or somebody gave her one whether she needed it or not. Looks like she's B positive. Alright, so now I do believe for certain that we have exhausted the possibilities in this room. And we're going to have to take away grandma's protection here. I'm not going to lie, that got me a little bit, even though I was expecting it. My heart jumped. <laughs> oh my goodness, Grandma. I need to crack a window. <laughs> I'd like to know who the funny guy was that decided to put that in here. All right, so let's let's check out our progress in the book, The Great Evil Necronomicon. There we go. Page two, item two of six. We still have yet to find the last two items for page one, though. That's what we need to be focused on. Cheap tricks. All right. So where can we go now? wanted to take a look here and make sure that okay so I think our next plan of action should be to go can I keep my key by the way can I take that back can't get my key back. Alright, I think our next plan of action should be to go... Oh, check it out. The front door's boarded shut now. So I can't get out. That's great. Alright, so we can't get to the fire just yet. There's a door there, but if I walk over here... There's no door here. So that tells me to get to that fire, I need to go through this door. I do have another key. Oh, oh damn people, we are making progress. Well, screw what I said about the course of action. We have a whole other wing of the house available to us now complete with pictures of candles and moldy oranges. In case Grandma runs out of penicillin, we've got more for her. Alright, so it looks like the little girl's been living in here. Look at all this trash. There's a pet bowl, empty. We have a bag of Kino slurries. Ew, disgusting. Another plate and bowl, empty. Somebody needs to teach this little girl how to do her dishes. And spoons and plates. Well, they decided to blow it up and get it framed, even though that woman looks so evil in it. Wait a 
minute. Wasn't one of the uh, items that we were looking for like a kitchen? No, apparently not. Well, there's a cup or a jar of some sort. I don't even know what some of this stuff is. I guess we'll know it when we find it. Oddly enough, I could tell I could open that drawer by looking at it. It looks different. Alright. This may not mean anything. It may mean something. 61724. Can't change it. Alright. Of all you people that are watching this, that play VR in your own home on your own free time. Don't you always have to look in the refrigerator? I just can't help it. I don't know if I've ever found anything in the refrigerator, but I've always got to look. One of these days, I'm going to find something really cool in the refrigerator. keys lots of places to look lots of places to not look oh, there's another battery some more uh, blood stains think in this big room there would be something that we need I mean there is blood everywhere what are we missing we have to be missing something oats to Tom Brady So they let me open one drawer and it's empty. How much sense does that make? Like zero, right? Alright, um... I'm beginning to think there's nothing here for us. I'm about to cut my losses and just move on to the next room. Because I don't see any other alternative plans of action here. Okay. I guess we're going to call it, folks, and if we get stumped later and get stuck, we'll come back here and really turn it over. We have a fire to go play some music for. I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder if it's going to turn all red and evil. It's the S to the P R I T E can. It's, it's, Sprout's delicious, you know why? Because it's liming. And Lyman is good. Just ask Lyman good. I wonder if when Lyman good was in uh, elementary school, if people always tried to give him Sprite. Just to tease him, you know, because his name is Lyman good. What is that thing? Is it just a candle? Can I unlock this door now? Well, how did she close it so quickly if there's not even a handle in here?
Apparently somebody's been scratching help on the window. And they're hitting every cliche in this one. I'm digging it. They're not missing anything yet. I, I still haven't seen the evil baby doll yet, but I'm sure it's coming at some point. They're getting all the other stuff. Oh, we found another Necronomicon page. This is the one that tells me to uh, switch the hands on the grandfather clock to 12, which I already figured out on my own. I think I ran out of batteries. Indeed. Man, I hope this game is like uh, Here They Lie. Here They Lie will not let you run out of batteries, no matter what. And when I have a flashlight, I use it. Okay, I think we've uh, searched this one down pretty good here. Let's play the uh, cassette tape for the fire. enough of that I can only take so much oh there's a hidden compartment remember in this wing before we even walked in here we noticed coming from this wing of the house that there was smoke just rising up from the ceiling even though there was no chimney over there so I guess now we get to go over there and find out what's happening oh boy now tell me if this were real life and you were in this house and there was crazy shit going on every time you turn around you, the front doors boarded up so you can't really get out without breaking a window I guess if this were real life would you go in here I honestly don't know if I would or not I think I would have already broken a window out but something tells me that if I was being haunted by some evil spirit that I probably wouldn't be able to break the window either Oh man, I probably would have come in here, but when I got to this point, I probably would turn around. Because this makes me uncomfortable. I'd be fine if everything were nice and bright and we were going upstairs. We're going down into the basement or cellar and it's all dank. I don't like it. If I don't like it, I mean I love it. It's awesome. I need shit. We lost our flashlight into the hole. I don't know if I should walk on this thing. But I need my damn light. Look at that cool old wooden door. You can see the light through the cracks in it. That is so cool. Well done, developers. That looks nice. Can I open it? I can. Holy crap. Okay, I think we've found where Elizabeth likes to hang out. Jeez. What does that say? It says... Pythonism. Mates. Pythonism. 1873. It says 1873, but that's... That's the lady of the house. Elizabeth Thomas. Okay, I don't want to walk in that if I can help it. Found another cassette tape. If I can reach it. I 
I had this problem the other day too. I need to, I guess I need to go in and adjust my floor settings. All right, so let me see where I'm at here. I know I'll be able to get it. I have to just play around with it for a little bit. Come on. My goodness. All right, well that sucks. Let's look around here a bit more. It's gonna make me walk in that thing. Okay. It's not gonna let me pick anything up off the floor. I guess I'm gonna have to adjust this thing in real time. All right, so. Menu. And we need. Well, let's just try resetting the view. That might work. All right, so we reset the view. Still, that's not okay. Oh, damn it. Let's look around here at some of this other stuff. Found a cool looking medallion. Found three of them, four of them, and another book. First, feed the flame. The light will guide you and he shall reward. Place the coins in the pentagram. I need five coins. I've got one, two, three, four. Oh, we gotta place them on here. Are they all the same? They're different. I mean, they look different. I'm just gonna place them randomly. I don't know. Okay. So we need to find another one, apparently. Can't pick up the picture. I can't manipulate the book. Check this thing out, man. These bones and the skull. This, this stuff looks real. I mean, the skull looks a little bit large. That is wicked, man. And check out the blue flame. That's cool. I gotta admit, that is impressive. Oh, I think we found the doll. Looks like a, um, what are they called? The voodoo dolls? I think it's called a voodoo doll. I think there's another word for it actually, but. but I think this is gonna go right there. All right, that just leaves the jar. And then, I think whatever this thing does, we're gonna be able to activate. I'm not, I don't trust that little girl. I'm not quite sure that that's even a little girl at all. I think there may be some evil spirit in here that is trying to manipulate me. I found the other coin. I found the other coin. Well, to be honest, I was kind of relieved that I didn't have the other coin already. Now I have it, so we have to use it, right? Oh boy, here goes nothing. All right, first feed the flame. The light shall guide you and reward. Place the coins. What do I need to feed the flame? Picture of some sort. Do I need a, that looks like the, I don't even know, man. Do 
Do I need to use the big candle here? And the big candle went into the book, so apparently not. Maybe this picture. Quad Devitum Furet Eresius. Eresius. Looks like there's a bunch of naked women. One of them holding a little baby and something evil coming up from the flames. All right, so let's feed the flame. All right, it's telling me that it wants a circle. And now that one wants the triangle. This one wants that one. That one's gonna go there. And what's happening? What the hell was that? Hey. Over here. You gotta hide. She's coming. Is she? The darkness. You need a bra, baby. She said she has all she needs, but I beg to differ. The lady needs a shower. She needs a new bra. A new dress, a haircut, some makeup. I don't want to leave. I guess. How come I can pick up the stupid flashlight, but I can't? I don't know. Maybe it's not something I can lift. Maybe that's what the deal is. I don't know. I got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, that was too difficult. Uh, okay. Why would it let me pick it up if I can't use it? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> oh, I love saying that. Hey, kitty cat. You don't love this tape recorder. Look, just record everything. Capture life sounds. It's just. Amazing how life sounds when you just listen. Oh, you're gonna laugh your butt off at how funny your own voice sounds. All right, cat. Love you, Dad. Well, it sounds like Bill was a great dad. I do not know why I went through all that trouble to pick that thing up just to have it say that. I'm gonna try to pick up this glow in the dark thing here too. I don't even know if I'm supposed to, but it's sticking out like a sore thumb. Got it. All right, groovy beam, black light, and UV ink pen. LED powered. UV light. Okay. That is a strange looking package. It does not look like a flashlight pen. Uh, let's see here. Is that what this thing is? Oh, this is just a... Oh, it is. So I've got a UV light now. Cool. I have a black light flashlight. I'll check out the... Uh, 
That thing, that is wicked, man. Found some pictures too. I have no idea what these pictures are of. Dark figure. Maybe grandma. Alright, so it said, He will show you the way. And he just came and got up in my face and scared me a little bit and flew away. Then the lady came and told me I was all she needed. Which she could use a little self-awareness. Whatever. At least we know Elizabeth is still among the living. She's not some figment of my imagination. Or maybe they both are. Maybe the spirits are just playing with her. But, we have a new tool now. We've got UV light that we can use to search the, uh, the house. And I'm sure we will uncover some more secrets. But, I think we have gone on long enough here. We have made good progress. That was creepy and weird. Oh, wait a minute. Look, 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 look. What is she doing here? I don't know. That was exactly what I was thinking. What's she doing here? Just for shits and giggles, let's... Nope. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. This seems like a, a good spot to uh, take a break. When we come back, we're going to go upstairs and look around with our UV light. And when we get there, we're going to see the truth. I wonder what the truth is. Truth is, the door is open now. You made her angry. What did I do? I did exactly what she wanted me to do. I mean, I didn't do anything. I just sat there and looked at her. Told her she needed to put a bra on. That's it. Something scary is happening in the house. I can't find daddy. Yeah, obviously. We've found everyone but daddy. Alright. What the? What is that? 